Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're gonna to be installing a cube speed short shifter in my friend's G35. This short shifter will work with the 350Z and G35, obviously with the manual transmission, and it's gonna make shifts a whole lot shorter and feel so much better than the factory shifter. Cube also makes shifters for a bunch of other cars too, so if you have something that's not a G35 or a 350Z, they might have a shifter for your car as well. If you are interested in the shifter for your 350Z or G35, or if you're looking for a shifter for another car, I'll have a link in the description down below to Cube's website, along with a coupon code where you can save yourself a little bit of money. So let's get on to the install. It's pretty simple. You will have to get it up on jack stands or ramps because there is one bolt that connects the shifter to the shifter linkage. And after that, the rest of the install is inside the car. So once you're underneath the car, there is a bolt at the very bottom of the side. shifter. Get underneath here on this side. There's a bolt at the very bottom of the shifter right there that we need to remove. It's a 12 millimeter. I have my ratchet on there. And once you get that bolt off, we'll be able to go inside the car and remove the shifter. There's originally a boot that's supposed to be covering it, and this boot is no more. So we have easy access. All right, got the bolt. Now that we have the bolt removed underneath, we're going to take apart the shifter here. First, we'll do the shift knob. Got the shift knob off, now we'll lift up on this trim and remove that. And you don't need to remove it, we'll just set it off to the side so you don't have to worry about unplugging anything. Remove this. Now there's four bolts holding on the shifter plate that we'll remove with a 10 millimeter socket. With the bolts removed, we'll remove this boot. Now we have access to this boot. We'll lift up the skirt there, and we have three more bolts to remove. And out comes the old crappy shifter. All right, here is the cube shifter. This is everything that comes in the kit. Pretty simple to install. Pretty much everywhere there's a thread, you wanna put some medium thread locker on there, especially this piece right here. This is like the main body to the shifter. So when you thread that on, put some Loctite on there, get it as tight as you can. And uh, we'll take this over to the car and put it all in. We chose to go with the black shift knob with the silver lettering or the machine lettering. I think it looks super awesome. So definitely gonna look good in the G35. So let's get to it. Now we're gonna grab the cube shifter itself. We're gonna drop that in, but be careful. There are two metal bushings here that can fall out. And if you notice here, there's a little like boss tab sticking off right here. This is gonna go right here on the shifter. And then this metal reverse lockout is gonna go towards the passenger side. So this will only go in one orientation. And uh, we're gonna spray some grease on here. Oh God, oh boy. Now when you drop this in, just be very careful to try to not drop the bushings at the bottom. It's not a big deal if they do fall, uh, but you wanna try to align it down there. And once you properly line up this plastic tab, you'll see how deep down the shifter can go. Then you're gonna to wanna to take this piece, and this is going to get installed on top of the shifter. The cutout is gonna be on the right side of the vehicle for the reverse lockout. Then we're gonna take the top shifter plate, place that on there. Once you get both shifter plates on top of the shifter, you can install the hardware and you know you have everything installed correctly when that bottom shifter plate is sitting flush on top of the transmission. If there's a gap, then you have a alignment issue with the spring or that lower um, bushing. So if that lower plate is flat, dead flat on the transmission, you have everything right. Thank you. 
but you're not going to want to torque them because there is a little bit of adjustment with this plate because of the reverse lockout. So what I recommend doing is leaving the shifter bezel out and taking the car for a drive, or at least just, you know, moving it forward and back in your driveway or whatever, and making sure this reverse lockout feels good after you connect it to the transmission down below, because there is some side to side adjustment here and you will have to fine tune it. Okay, this next part is gonna be very difficult to show you, but you basically just have to lift up on that linkage to the shifter. Now, Cube does provide a new bolt for you to attach this, but you can reuse the factory bolt. Okay, we have it hooked up to the transmission now. And what I'm gonna do to try to get this adjusted as close as possible without driving it is put this in fifth and sixth gear. So this does have the reverse lockout built into it. So right now with this adjusted improperly, bam, you can go all the way over into reverse, but the reverse lockout, you're supposed to have to go down and over. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find all the gears. So first, second, third, fourth, and just barely over is fifth and sixth. So what I'm gonna do now is slide this reverse lockout over, but I don't want it touching. If you have it touching here, you might have some gear grinding issues or engagement issues. So what I did was bring this all the way over to where they touch and then space it about a millimeter or two. And that's where we're gonna lock it down. So as you can see in fifth and sixth gear, it's super close, maybe one or two millimeters of a gap. And now to go into reverse, you have to push down and you can go under. So now to go into reverse, you push down, over, and you can come back. But you pretty much have to fine tune this adjustment for fifth and sixth. Now that we have the plate adjusted and where we think we're gonna be happy, we're gonna officially assemble this portion of the shifter. This nut right here effectively makes the shifter taller or shorter. So this set position is totally up to you. Um, we're gonna do like two threads up and have this thing pretty short. And don't need to go overkill, but we will put a little bit of thread locker on here. Just the blue medium strength. And I already put thread locker on this portion as well. We're gonna, we're gonna take a 22 millimeter wrench to hold that bottom nut and twist this on. And make it as snug as we can so it doesn't vibrate loose. We can take this nut off for now while we install the shifter boot so it doesn't interfere. Then install the wonderful cube shifter. We'll get that aligned and use a 17 millimeter wrench. And you're gonna loosen the nut to press it against the shift knob to lock it in place. And now you have successfully installed the cube speed short shifter in your G35 or 350Z. Much, much better than factory. All right, got the Cube Speed short shifter installed in this G35. It feels and looks incredible. Definitely a huge upgrade over factory. If you're interested in a Cube shifter for your G35, 350Z, or practically any other manual transmission car, I'll have a link to their website down below and also a coupon where you can save yourself a little bit of money as well. So big thanks to Cube for helping us out with this install. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Thanks.